What is going on, MTG community? My name is Lightfox MTG, and you know what time it is? It is Friday, the 2nd of September, and that means it is Dominaria pre release time, Dominaria United. Um, just got back from my LGS, played in a pre release there. Um, didn't do so hot, um, but we had a fun deck. It was kind of cool, um, and we you know we had to pick up another sealed pre-release kit thanks to my boy Corey down at pulp comics and games if you're ever in mankato minnesota go ahead and check my boy out tell him i sent you so tell him light fox mtg sent you there all right so let's go ahead and crack into this guy here i really like the new packaging that they have they've really gone towards this um reduction in plastic which is a great thing in my opinion and then it comes with all the counters and the tokens and whatnot and like, can we just talk about how pretty they went with the prismatic coloring art? Just, just a great, great, great choice. Let me get this guy out here. All right, so we've got that going on there. And then we do have something slated for another video later on here. We got us a little set booster box there. I'm gonna trade some things away into my good buddy Corey, but you know what, worth it. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this pre-release kit here. Looks like we have ourselves a green spin down there. Very nice, very cool. And then we've got our wonderful slate of things here. We've got our packs and our stuff here. We'll get that out of the way, get the packaging out of the way. Hopefully you guys are having a great night. You went to you guys' pre-release there and had some fun. Let's see what we got here for our promo. It is Valiant Veteran. Valiant Veteran is our promo. It is a 1-2 two for 2 core soldier. It's a soldier lord. Other soldiers you control get plus 1, plus 1, and then for 3 and 2 white, exile Valiant Veteran from your graveyard. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each soldier you control. Very cool. Very interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the reason why you're here. Let's get into these packs here. We've got 6 packs here. Let's see if this would have been a good pool or not. Take this one out of the running here. All right, first card here we have is Hammerhand, Urborg Repossession, Talarian Terror, Giant Snake Monster, Juniper Order Root Weaver, Vanquisher's Axe, Broken Wings, Soaring Drake, Salvaged Mana Worker, and we're into, oh, more commons here, Flowstone Kabu, now, nah, well, still more rares, Elfhine Worm, Next one here is we have a Coral Colony as our first uncommon here. Dragon Whelp. Shieldred's Restoration and first rare or mythic is going to be Rith Liberated Primeval. It's actually a mythic and it's in the Stained Glass art. Very cool. That is your Naya Dragon there. Legendary Creature Dragon, Flying, Ward 2. Other dragons you control have Ward 2. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature or planeswalker an opponent controlled was dealt excess damage this turn, create a 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying. Very cool. Very, very cool. Interesting card. And then we have our Stained Glass Island there. Very beautiful art. Very beautiful art. And then we have ourselves a soldier token. All right. Let me grab out a couple of sleeves here because around here we like to respect our mythics. So we put our mythics in sleeves here. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this guy up here. What's your guys' favorite card out of this set so far? Granted, it's still really new. Granted, the spoilers have been out forever and a day. But I always like to know what everybody's liking out of this set. I didn't really do much research on this set, so I am in the dark here. All I know is there's a shield red in this set, and I am super excited about that. I play shield red in one of my commander decks, and boy howdy, does she do some work. All right, let's get it going here. We've got a Juniper Order Root Weaver, Vanquisher's Axe, Broken Wings, this is feeling familiar, Mirla's Outriders, Toxic Abomination, Impulse, Flowstone Infusion, Haunted Mire, I'm really liking this because these are searchable in Commander and they granted they come into play tapped, but it's a duel, you can search for it and you only have to pay one. Modern Legal? Maybe, maybe. Meteorite. 
runic shot is going to be our first uncommon here. Tail swipe is our next uncommon. Bortux bone rattle is our uncommon there. And Thran portal. We got ourselves a gate. Thran portal enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer lands. As Thran battlefield or Thran portal enters the battlefield, choose a basic land type. Thran portal is the chosen type in addition to its other types. Mana abilities of Thran portal cost an additional one life to activate. Interesting, very interesting. We got a foil, a Phyrexian Rager. Interesting, nice reprint there. We've got a Plains and another Soldier token. Very cool. So I keep seeing that they're keeping gates, gates around, which. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but, like, gates are fine, I guess, but, like, not fine at the same time. I think they're kind of a waste of a land slot, but that's just me, unless you're playing, like, a gates deck or something like that in, like, Commander or Heroic or something, or uh, Historic, I should say. I, I don't know how they would do elsewhere. Oh, that's actually, I want to go back on that. That's really pretty art. Who did that? Ruina Cal. Huh. Interesting. Beautiful art. This set has great art. That's the nice part about magic is it just has so much good art. And we got ourselves another land. We're going to pull that aside there. A bog badger. A badgy boy. Hopefully he's looking for mushrooms. All right. On to our uncommons here. We've got a moss beard ancient. Wing mantle chaplain. Tori the advent fury rider. And... Urza assembles the Titans. That is a wall of text. Goodness. Wall of text for a rare. We ain't gonna read it. We got ourselves a mountain and a Phyrexian token. Very cool. All right, so we're about halfway through the bot or halfway through the pre-release kit here. We have a Naya Mythic, and that is about it. Granted, it is in that really pretty stained glass art. Nothing really big yet that I have seen or think I've seen. I've heard rumblings about other cards in this set, and I have not seen any of them yet, which makes me kind of sad. Toxic Abomination. Impulse. That's a really pretty art for Teferi on there. Take up the shield. Full Furious Vine Wall. Furious Bellow. Talarian Geyser. Shield Wall Sentinel. Magna Magnagoth Sentry. Thrill of Possibility, another reprint on that card there. All right, we've got, for our first uncommon, Joint Exploration, a Balduvian Berserker. We have a Balmor, Battle Mage Captain, and Weatherlight Completed. Very cool. That's a Mythic and a half for two. Very cool. That's another Wall of Text, but that's a cool one to hit for sure. We're going to sleeve that guy. We've got ourselves an Island, and... Kobolds of Care Keep. Great token. Great, great token. All right, so we've got two Mythics. That's what I've seen kind of on rate for these pre-release kits out of Dominaria United. Has been two Mythics per pre-release kit. Are we going to change that? Are we going to fix that? Are we going to get somewhere better? Are we going to hit the Liliana of the Veil? Probably not. We've already hit two Mythics out of this pre-release kit, so pro pro probably not. We could get lucky and hit a third. You never know. You never know. Take up the shield. It's our first common there. Full Furious Vine Wall. Furious Bellow. Shadow Prophecy with the beautiful art. Haunting Figment. Charismatic Vanguard. Crystal Grotto. Captain's Call. Sacred Peaks. We're going to pull that to the side there. All right, onto our uncommons. We have the Weather Seed Treaty. It's a saga there. Battle Wing Mystic. Shah uh, Shalai's Acolyte, and Arati Resurrected, a Phyrexian Human Wizard. That's a wall of text and a half there, goodness. We've got a foil here, Elvish Hydromancer, a forest, and a Cat Warrior token. Very cool. All right, on to our last one. Can we get a little last pack magic here? Can we get the shiny Karn pack to make shiny Karn things happen? I don't know. There's too many Phyrexians. Homie needs to wipe his boots. Fight me. 
changed my mind. Snare spinner for her first common there. Enthrall to the pit. Tattered apparition. Talus lookout. Artillery blast. Lanawar stalker. Idyllic beachfront. We're going to pull that to the side there. Tribute to Urborg. Molten tributary. Pull that to the side. Salvaged mana worker. Yodai declares war is our first uncommon. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Cut down. Very good. Very good removal. Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. Or Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. And our last card is going to be a rare Caves of Koilos. I mean, we like real estate. Eh. Painlands are nice. A. We got a forest in the um, stained glass art and a soldier token. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's go ahead and let's just do this here. If you guys play arena or anything like that, you can go ahead and take that code there and it's gone. All right. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I'm going to try to get that set box cracked here sometime soon. Maybe before my trip, maybe after my trip. I'm heading to Virginia for a concert. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to, if you did like this video here, don't forget to drop me a like. Um, a subscription is always great. It's a free way to help the channel grow. Uh, if you like, and if you didn't like it, you can go ahead and dislike it. That's okay. Not everybody likes this stuff, but you know what? I do what I can for everybody. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. This has been Light Fox MTG. Peace.